So, what is the best web browser for web developers? The answer may surprise you. So, there's a whole bunch of browsers out there, but honestly, I'm going to be a little controversial and say that the only two web browsers for web developers that matter are Chrome and Firefox. Because basically every other browser is just a fork of one of these. So like Vivaldi, the new Microsoft Edge, are all based off of the Google Chrome engine, the Chromium engine, and some other things like Waterfox are based off of Firefox. And with both of these engines, like the most popular ones are Google, the most popular browsers are Google Chrome and Firefox, respectively. So honestly, these are the only two browsers that you should consider using for your main development work. So I know there's been a lot of videos about which browser is better for development, Google Chrome or Firefox. And I'm going to kind of spoil the answer for you. They're actually almost exactly the same for developing in. I know there's been some videos like, oh, the dev tools on Firefox are so much better or something like that. But unless you have like some very specific use case, then the developer tools are exactly the same. Like you have pretty much exactly the same layout here as in here. I mean, the only actual difference is like if you're maybe a designer and you do a lot of work with fonts and like design, then Firefox does have this nice fonts tab right here where you can like change the size on the fly, change the spacing, stuff like that, which might sound useful, but honestly, in years and years of using both of these, I've never once had to use this fonts panel right here. I just change all the rules right here. If I want to change the color, I just do it right here. So it really makes no sense to have a, a separate fonts panel right here. So basically, neither of these browsers have like a really killer feature over the other one. So basically, whichever one you like using the most, that's what you should use. Now, personally, I like to use Chrome better. I've always used Chromium just because it's been faster for me. So it, it pops up faster, it's quicker to load pages, so that's basically why I use Chromium. But you can get all, all almost all the same extensions, like if you're working with React, you can install the React DevTools in Chromium and Firefox. They're pretty much the same. Now that doesn't mean I only use Chromium for web development. Like Whenever you're do making websites, you want to make sure they work in as many browsers as possible. So finally, in the end, I end up testing on Chrome, Firefox, Microsoft Edge, and a whole bunch of other like smaller browsers just for kicks. I mean, you don't have to if it's just like a small web project, but basically the more browsers and operating systems you can test on, the better. But I do use Chromium for most of my development work, and then later on do I test on the other browsers. Don't be one of these people that like only focuses on Chromium-based browsers and doesn't use Firefox at all. Because then you get these annoying bugs that these Firefox people always complain about. And so that's just annoying. That's just mean Firefox people to make their website inferior than Chrome. I don't, I don't really like Chromium's monopoly on the web. But right now, it's better for me, so that's what I use. So maybe years ago, Firefox might have had some killer features that Chromium doesn't. But yeah, honestly, they're basically the same right now for me. But one thing that I do do a little bit differently is I have a separate browser for development than I do like personal browsing. So if I'm just going on the internet, like browsing the news or something or reading some website, then I'm going to use a different browser from either of these. Personally, I use Brave. But the reason I do that is because it's nice to have a browser that doesn't have any extensions or anything tweaked at all. So you get like the basic browser experience that the most people, that most normal people are going to see. Because on my personal browser, I have a bunch of extensions like privacy extensions or like an ad blocker. And so if you have these installed while you're developing, it can cause a lot of headaches, which I've had in the past. Like I've set up Google Analytics for a whole bunch of clients and I'm always wondering why is this not working? Oh, it's because I'm blocking the script for Google Analytics. So <laughs> you want to have uh, your development browser as minimal as possible, basically just like an out of the box experience. So it doesn't really look different on, a, on anybody else's device. Now, another thing you might be wondering about is, okay, I've seen other people use like this Firefox developer edition, or maybe the Google Chrome developer edition or Google Chrome Canary, like one of these more beta, like bleeding edge browsers. 
and I don't really think there's any use for these either. So the only reason you'd really have this installed is if you really want to be on the bleeding edge of the browser and see all the new functionality that's coming down the pipes. But honestly, unless you're really working close with the browser or you just want to like show off some cool new features coming to the web on your Twitter, then you don't really need these. And since they're in beta, they're going to break more often. So you don't really want to use these as your main browser. Maybe if you want to test some features coming on later on, but I wouldn't really use these for your main development browsers. So Firefox Developer Edition doesn't really have any crazy new features or anything. I mean, the biggest difference is that uh, the dev tools are dark by default, which is a nice feature, I guess, but not really necessary. But the only reason you might want to use this is because it has like a, a separate profile. So maybe you can use Firefox as your main personal browsing and then F Firefox Developer Edition with a different profile so it doesn't have any of your ad blocking extensions or anything that can mess up your development. So that's the only reason to have like one of these developer browsers. Otherwise, there's really no point in using them. So that's basically all I have to say about browsers. Like if you want my recommendation, not that it really means anything, I use Chromium for all of my development and then test it in other browsers. That's just what I do. You're not really gonna see any crazy benefits using one or the other, so you don't have to have like some kind of crazy browser war or always be trying to optimize which one is the best because it really doesn't matter. So as my thoughts, if you like the video, leave it a like, subscribe, something like that. All right, take care, bye.